Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and uh, yes, I do have the air running. It is pretty stuffy in here. Uh, before I get into this video, A33 Genetry, toll free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Please bear in mind, my call volume is extremely high right now. GenetrySolar.com, as always, get yourself a Wi Fi board. I promise you, you will absolutely love it. Got a lot in the pipeline, but I did want to do a follow-up video for this Chargery BMS. And, um, yeah, so there's a lot going on here. Some some uh, some of my subscribers have suggested that I check out uh, another guy. I can't even remember his name offhand. Um, just a couple weeks back, he actually uh, has one of these BMS systems that he was testing with a, um, a LiPo battery setup. And he was also... Um, explaining some of his problems so first of all I am not going to be using the BMS uh, for anything other than BMS stuff balancing okay I'm not using it for over current protection I'm not using it for undercurrent uh, or that is under voltage over voltage anything else like that my inverter is going to be my under voltage protection thanks to the Wi-Fi board I can set the exact voltage and calibrate it with the Wi-Fi board to make sure that it's accurate I can actually set when the batteries will be at their lowest that I have it set at so the inverter will then shut down it will shut down when it reaches a certain voltage so that is my under voltage protection and my over voltage protection is going to be the charge controllers themselves I will set them to where I am comfortable setting them and then they will run at float the BMS, the only job the BMS has, strictly, is balancing the cells. That's it. That's all I want it for. I'm not using it for any other the bells and whistles, shunts, or controlling remotely, anything else like that. And so, you could possibly say that this is probably overkill for what I need. From what I've been reading and hearing and watching the videos, that this chargery was actually designed more for e-bikes than anything else because of all of its extra features that are packed into it and there are definitely alternatives out there but so far I am happy with this system it has been balancing my batteries since last night so uh, I would say probably close to 20 hours again I've got almost 400 amp hours here and uh, this thing is it's balancing um, but it's gonna take a while for this size of uh, batteries uh, you know they're just they're huge obviously so um, you know I've got all the mounting that I have to do and so on but um, I'm so far I'm, I'm happy with it the only thing that is disappointing as I had mentioned before the only thing that's disappointing is this this state of charge so I did reach out to chargery to find out what they could do about that as it turns out according to them uh, because they did reply to my email within a couple hours, uh, they are in fact going to be adding a different calibration method for state of charge. Now, the language barrier between Chinese and English was a little bit difficult for me to understand, but I believe what they are going to do is change the calculation of the state of charge depending on the battery itself that can be set by the user, as far as I understand. They did acknowledge the problem. They did say that it wasn't a very good basically meter so they admitted that it wasn't all that great of a tool to be used and uh, they did say that they are going to be providing an update in the future hopefully they will send me another email which will uh, confirm that way I can take this and update it through the software updater in the meantime they suggested that I lower my uh, amp hour capacity on the actual charge or the BMS itself so how this basically works is in the settings you actually have an option to set the amp hour size of your batteries and that's what the BMS uses to determine what your um, your battery capacity actually is you can see there I've got it set for 378 amp hours because this battery is in fact 189 amp hours and I have two of them in parallel so 378 amp hours. Now obviously I'm not going to be taking that down all the way to zero. That's stupid. Uh, 
but I still set it to 378 amp hours because that's what it asked me. Obviously, battery capacity. So, um, you know, I'm basically going to be setting this much lower. That's what the guys at um, Chargery had recommended. Just take that and set it lower so that the battery meter itself will basically go up. I think it's kind of a wonky way of doing it. But at the same time, for me in my particular situation, I'm not counting on it, you know, with overcharge, undercharge, and, and all that other stuff. I'm not using the BMS for that purpose. I'm simply using it as a balancer to balance out the cells. That's it. This is a passive balancer. And yes, I'm fully aware that there are other options out there. But I have this system here. So far, I've been happy with it, other than this meter here. It has been working all night long. This thing is still pretty warm, so it's still balancing out the cells. Remember, there's a lot of power in these batteries. So it's going to take a while for this little thing to be able to balance it out. But again, I'm not using it as a shunt or, or current limiter or anything else like that. I don't have any relays hooked up to it. I don't have any remote features. I do have the speaker hooked up, although I don't think it's really going to be any use. But um, yeah, this is basically how I am running my system. And that's that's perfectly fine with me but I would like to be able to keep this up here this menu so that I can glance because it's it's a decent screen it's not what you would call perfectly beautiful or anything else like that but it would be nice to be able to see the state of charge at a glance um, I do have this battery meter here as well that will do basically the same thing as you can see it's a lot smaller it's also a lot dimmer too and I'm gonna be mounting this on my uh, uh, midnight solar baby box that'll be in this area I'm gonna mount this there so that I can again just take a quick glance over um, and see what my state of charge actually is so yeah there you have it um, so far it's been working okay um, the bus bars uh, came today from Sean Buckner so I have to install those and of course I have to get all my fuses all hooked up this is my exterior box that is going to be right on the other side of this wall right here where my solar will actually run into this is a fuseless disconnect so that'll be set up so I'll have the wires will come in through the wall here um, you know I've got all of my wire ready to go to hook to the inverter itself when all is said and done it's just a matter of time it's raining out right now so I can't do anything outside anyways uh, so I can't run you know wire through the wall or anything while it's raining it's supposed to be raining i think for the next day or two so not much i can do outside unfortunately but uh eventually i'll get this up and running and it will be awesome and i i can't wait to get everything going and again it's not going to be perfect this setup i got to make some modifications obviously for safety and code and things like that um, I've already started doing that, but um, I've had a lot of help. I've had a lot of support um, You know Sid has been invaluable when it comes to making stuff that I need for my particular needs um, You know, it's I, it's it's been awesome. It really has I, I, I've very I'm, I'm very lucky that I have the the team that I do have and We have some really interesting products in the future coming not just from PowerJack well, from Genetry Solar as well, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. 833-GENETRY, toll-free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Call volume is extremely high. In fact, I received three calls while I was recording this video in all of about, what, 10 minutes. So please be aware I am doing the best I can to get back to you as soon as possible. I do appreciate all of your support. And as always, take care.